In the middleweight division at Dana White's Contender Series, you got Cameron Ralston coming in at 8-2, taking on the undefeated Torres Finney, who comes in at 8-0 and had a win previously at the Contender Series. Ralston's going to be 6 inches taller. He's 6-2 compared to the 5'8 Finney. You know, Finney's 5'8", but he's still 185. It's a big dude, man, low to the ground. Ralston is uh, 29. Finney is 25. Uh, in his Contender Series fight, uh, he landed less than one significant strike per minute, but averaged 13 takedowns over the course of three rounds. So, he, you know, he had like four takedowns in short order, right? That's the bottom line. Uh, now, Ralston in his eight wins, four KOs, four submissions. You got to like that, but he was KO'd once and lost once by decision. But those losses came back in 2018. Since then, he's won five in a row. Not as active as you like, right? Just one fight since 2020. Finney, a.k.a. The Punisher, in his eight wins, he's got six KOs, one submission, one decision. So not quite sure if, since this guy won uh, last year in the last week, week 10 at the Contender Series against Yuri Penparov. I'm not sure why he didn't get the contract, but maybe it's because the UFC was expecting him to land a KO and he landed a submission. I don't. That's the only thing I can think of. But he came back at Combat Night Pro against Tyson Jeffries and landed... Uh, the TKO. So this one's simple for me. I mean, Finney's got the experience. He's undefeated. All he has to do is win, and he's getting the UFC contract, right? For some reason, the UFC made this guy wait, but he'll remind the UFC why he deserves a contract. He'll get the win. Not quite sure how. It could really finish in any which way. Decision, KO, or submission. So we'll have to wait and see. But he gets a win, in my opinion. Middleweight division. Dana White's contender series.